Hello there. In this tutorial, we will learn how to convert a color from RGB color space into a color in CIE LAB color space. But what is RGB color space anyway? Well, think about RGB color space as a box. Here in three axes of the box, the red, the green, and the blue. So if you pick any color that you can see, you can find inside this box. A very simple idea. A plain box idea. That's RGB color space. But why do we need to convert into, into a, another color space? This is because this is not the way humans look or perceive the color. So that's why we need to convert this color often to a so-called psychovisual color space such as CIELAB. So RGB is a color space that is 3D. Why 3D? Because there are three dimensional. You can think of like X axis, which is shown by this red axis, the blue, which is in the Y, and in the Z, there is the green. So RGB is a 3D color space. Now let's move on to the psychovisual color space, such as CIELAB. Well, this is also 3D. You can also think it of like, like previously in the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. For example, in case of LAB, the y-axis is this shown by, by, by this line, where if you go up, you will go, go towards the higher luminance values. That means things that are, com well, if I say in plain English, things that you see brighter, that, that have high luminance. And if you go towards the bottom, you start to see something that is blackish, that have low luminance. So after the luminance, there are two other axes of LAB color space, that is A star and B star. A star usually represents the green versus the magenta color, and B star represents the from yellow to blue color, so the opponent colors. But this is not how LAB color space looks like. LAB, colors, LAB color space looks like this. So this is quite non-linear compared to the RGB color space. So one strong difference between RGB and LAB is RGB is a linear space, just a box, whereas in LAB it's a non-linear because we human perceive colors in such a way. So therefore, uh, it's a pity, non-linear, so all the computations are much more complicated. But anyway, so that's about RGB and LAB color space. Now we will take an image in MATLAB and convert it from RGB to LAB. Okay, so let's load an image. Let's call this I, image for I. Let's read that image. Um, I have already an image called ghum.jpg. Ghum in Bangla means sleeping. Okay. Okay, the image is loaded. Let's see the image with show command. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is my son. So what we'd like to do is here is to convert this color image into LAB. Uh, so RGB color space because this is JPEG encoded in sRGB color space. What we want is to convert it to LAB color space. And then I will just show you the luminance to to convince you that it has been converted to LAB color space. So let's go on. First step to convert the color space is to create a so-called mexiform. Let's call it um, color transform. Trans, just, just call it CT, CT for color transform. And what we want is to create a mexiform, mexiform, and we will go from sRGB to LAB okay okay let's go it so I have created a CT structure that will allow me to convert RGB to LAB so to convert it to LAB I will have to apply this form apply C form you can see more details in the documentation of the MATLAB this is it's really easy so I have already loaded the image so my image is I and the the structure that I have created is called CT. So I will just copy this and hopefully this will work. So now it's converting from converting from I in sRGB to LAB. Yes, so done. So let's show the L channel. 
so lab i will only show the first all the rows all the columns of the first channel that means the l channel and uh, okay im show perfect so it is showing me the luminance channel that's all i wanted to show you so this is how you convert an srgb or in simply rgb color to um, LAB color. If you need to convert between other color spaces, you have to change this maxi form, uh, look into the documentation and put the right conversion and then you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to ask the questions and the comments below. Bye.